right, we're going to pack a uh, guitar for shipping. And I'm doing the filming here. My wife is going to be handling the guitar. And she really has never done this whole process. So this is a lot like what it's going to be for you. All right, so your first step is your guitar. And you need a, a box like this. This is a Martin guitar box. And a standard size guitar box. That's the best way to go. Okay, so get that. Now, when you do this, watch that lid that it doesn't fall down on the guitar. Exactly. So the first thing you're going to do is loosen the strings. So reach up here and just loosen the strings. Yeah, that's fine. Just give them some, take some of the tension off. Doesn't have to be all of it. Two turns is fine. You want to take some newspaper, set the guitar down. That's fine. Set the guitar down. Take some newspaper and crumple it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it right up under here into the headstock. Most issues occur when the headstock snaps forward or snaps backward and breaks, uh, breaks right here. So you want to keep it from snapping forward because that's which way the strings are pulling. It's less common for it to snap backwards, but it does happen. That's why I don't um, take all the tension off the strings. We want to keep it, you know, the headstock braced. So couple your newspaper up and stuff it in into here. We are not trying to cushion the headstock. We're trying to immobilize it. Now watch what she did right there. Hold on. She put too much padding down here. The headstock goes at an angle. So take this head, take this up. And stuff it under here because this isn't going to break right here it's going to break right here so get it immobilized right there you want this to be just a little bit up off of there so probably one more half of the sheet maybe and what you do one trick you can do here is do this don't put your paper up like that and then leave a little bit less of it down there now and what we got here that's pretty good right there. Now, I'm going to wash this right here and see what kind of surface you have under here. This is pretty flat, but there's a hard spot right here under the case pocket. And there's a hard spot right back here. So what we're going to do is take half a sheet of newspaper. Half a sheet, right in here. Okay. Make it long and thin and stick it right under here. In between this hard spot right, and the other hard spot. And back it up a little bit. Okay? That's what you want. And now you've got a cushion that keeps this up just a hair off of there. Not much. We're going to compress it down, don't forget. Now take about mm, two sheets of paper. Put it right here. And spread it out a little bit and form it if you have to, like that. Okay? Now, on this guitar, in these kind of cases, this is the, the uh, plastic case. It, this can be a hard spot, you feel that? Right here. With that battery, see that? Mm -hmm. But these ones are pretty tight fit and we're not going to get anything in there. So, as long as we immobilize the neck here, we're probably going to be in pretty good shape. So hold that down and let's see how it shuts. Now hold on. And see this little gap right here? That's what you want. You want some pressure so that you have to hold it down like that and force it. Clip it. All right, here we go. Now, what we did is we put this plastic bag over this case so that it's more or less kind of humidity sealed. If you ship a box UPS or FedEx, they're going to charge you for the size of the box. And you're going to get like up to 40 pounds. So what I do is I, I put an extra piece of cardboard in here. See this piece of cardboard? And it's, this is just to add extra protection from impact um, coming in this way. So we're going to put a piece of cardboard in here. We're going to get another piece like this. This is just spare cardboard and we're just stick it, stuffing it in there. This box has a bottom in it, which is nice. It's going to cushion um, the butt of the guitar. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick the guitar up and we're going to set it in here. Alright, we've got cardboard in here. This is extra cardboard. And now we're going to do the bubble, uh, the peanuts. These are styrofoam peanuts, and I really like shipping the styrofoam peanuts. Here's how you do it. Just run them in. Let me show you a trick for unpacking the guitar. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you unpack a guitar like this is you pull this cardboard out. Pull the cardboard out, 
and then you dump these peanuts into a box and then you wiggle the guitar up. Can you do that? Grab a hold of the guitar and just like wiggle it up. Like that. Okay, whoa, that's enough, that's enough. Drop it down. You don't have to dump all the peanuts up on the floor or anything like that. You just got to get enough peanuts out of it like this and then you can wiggle this guitar out of the case. This is why I do not, let me see this. I do not like to mix paper and stuff like that in with the peanuts because when you do that you cannot pull the guitar up out of the peanuts. If you keep it just purely peanuts on the bottom you can shift them and you can wiggle them up like this and you can wiggle that guitar case out of there without making a big mess. If you're not strong enough to lift the case up like this, set it on its side, pull it on the side. Alright, so let's finish putting peanuts in it. Check the box. That's good. Does it have a top? Yep, we got a top. There's a top sitting over there. Okay. And you gotta have, you gotta get around your cardboard here. Here's the top. How's the top go in? Like that. Tops are good because they they um, they firm up the side of the box right here. And that he he shipped it with that, and I don't think you're gonna get those in there. Don't worry about them. It's pretty solid right here. Okay. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Grab your tape. Tape her up. Okay. You, don't have to go, you don't have to go over here because it doesn't do anything. It just holds it. What you need to do though is get these flaps right here on the edge. So you're pulling up against it. Watch this. Pull up here. Pull down, and you'll pull this down. You'll see. You'll see the difference. Right. Right the top. Pull it down. You get a tighter fit that way. Okay. And let's do it over here. And it's important to get this thing as small as, you, as small as you can because you're charged by the inch. And so if you stick out a quarter of an inch right here, you're going to get charged for the whole extra. That's good. I do not like to use bubble wrap too much. Let me show you. Here's bubble wrap. Why don't I like to use bubble wrap, dear? It actually doesn't insulate. It doesn't insulate. What happens if it has an impact? Right. There's no impact. It pops. And once it's popped, that's it. It's gone. So with bubble wrap, it doesn't do that. It can take multiple impacts and it makes great insulation. Because peanuts. What, because with peanuts, it doesn't do that. Peanuts. Peanuts do not. Peanuts are good insulation. What do they fill um, like igloo coolers with? Styrofoam. Styrofoam. Okay? That's why I like it. Now you can use bubble wrap like this. You can use that for the top of the case, the bottom of the case. Um, you can use it for extra padding if you don't have enough peanuts. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is my preferred packing material. Now well, here's another box we're getting ready to pack and here's what the owner packed it with. Oh, I am going to repack the guitar with what you sent. With what you packed it. Here's why I don't like their bags. See these? Oh, these are chipped out. These are okay. But see that right there? That's just air. Um, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. I don't have air bags here. This stuff is just not going to insulate as well as too much. It's hard to get a good solid pack on it. It's not going to absorb impact very well. But um, if you send it like this, I'm either going to send it back to you with this or I'm going to charge you an extra 10 bucks for shipping materials. Your choice. Alright, so that's how to pack a guitar. Now I'm going to print up a UPS label, slap it on here, and then off we go. Bye-bye.